What up everybody, it's your boy Nautical back at it with another video. So I wanna talk to you guys about PlayStation versus Xbox and how it's gonna shake out this holiday in November once the Xbox One launches. Now we're gonna throw Nintendo into this too because they do have a relevant system that is involved in it, but really we're just talking about the Xbox platform and the PlayStation. So there have been a lot of conversations around which system is gonna win MPD for the month of November 2017. And the reason this is one of the more high contested months is because this is the month that the new Xbox One X Microsoft's brand new system that they're bringing to the new console space is releasing on November 7th. Now a lot of people happen to believe that this is a really good month for the Xbox One to win MPD. I agree 100%. I am of the mindset that when new hardware is released it also boosts the sales of the platform tremendously. I'm not saying that is gonna do it by itself. I'm not saying the Xbox One X is gonna carry November MPD all by itself, but when you talk about the month of November, what are you actually talking about? You're talking about one of the months that has the busiest shopping day in the year in it, and you're also talking about one of the months that has a lot of the most anticipated games coming out for it. Now, I understand that a lot of people are gonna say that the PlayStation platform has so much marketing rights for a lot of these games that's coming out. They have marketing rights for Destiny, which releases in September. They had the mar marketing rights for Call of Duty, that's November 3rd. They also have the marketing rights to Star Wars Battlefront 2, which is November 17th. So I can understand why a lot of people believe that the PlayStation platform or the PlayStation family of systems has the opportunity to win November's NPD. And even if you throw the Nintendo Switch in there, right before November happens on October 27th, they have Mario Odyssey releasing, which is gonna get the whole month of November to help sell Nintendo Switches. Now, the only problem I see with Nintendo Switch winning November's NPD is stock. If they have available stock, this is the one system that has the best opportunity, in my opinion, to outsell the Xbox One family of systems. And that's mostly just because a lot of people are looking for it. And if it's readily available for you to walk into the store and pick up during the month of November, it will sell like crazy. And that's definitely nothing to be ashamed of. The Nintendo Switch is an awesome system and a lot of people are looking and clamoring for it. So I don't look at that as a loss, but I do believe a lot of people just wanna see Microsoft fail. I always thought it was about just playing games and just enjoying the system that you want to play on, but it's become a trending habit that people just want to down talk the other side, mostly because either they don't have the system, they're just not interested in it, and they just want to remain relevant in a conversation because the only thing they can actually talk about other than just the games that they're playing on and having fun with the friends that they're playing with on their system is feeling like they're included in both sides of the community. They don't even have an Xbox One or even Xbox people don't have PlayStation and they feel like they have to hold a conversation on the other side of the aisle. And this is just another version of what people are doing to just gather attention around their platform. You know, I'm doing pretty much the same thing right now. The only difference is I have both systems. I can enjoy games on both systems and that's not a problem for me. Do I care if Microsoft wins NPD for the month of November? No. Would I prefer Microsoft to win it as a fan? Yes, and the reason for that is because I just don't want people to just have this misconception that Microsoft is failing. For some strange reason, if Sony wins MPD in the month of November, it's gonna be because Microsoft failed. It's not gonna be because Sony just happened to sell more systems. They're gonna, the narrative is gonna be Microsoft's brand new system is not able to outpace the PlayStation 4 family of systems. And that's what a new system releasing in the middle of the month. And it's not gonna be no narrative that everybody wants to be like, oh, well, Xbox actually did pretty well. They came really close to winning November's MPD. It's not gonna be anything Thing like that. It's going to be, oh, Microsoft, the dirt box, the falling asleep box. Nobody wants a support box. They lost the MPD to a older system, a system that didn't have any brand new hardware that came out this year. And their, even their new hardware couldn't propel the Xbox platform to heights to be able to win November's MPD. And that is the situation that a lot of people want to see happen. It's very popular to hate on Microsoft right now. And honestly, as an Xbox fan, you probably should be really happy about that because it keeps the the Xbox name relevant because all these PlayStation people, all these journalists, all these other people that are in the gaming community continually to talk about what Microsoft needs to do. And I always say any publicity is good publicity. And the fact that people are talking about this nonstop all the time is gonna do nothing but help the platform because it's gonna keep the name relevant when the holidays come around. So let the PlayStation fanboys and all these other different fanboys keep talking up the system. Don't try to fight them against it because all they're doing is 
keeping the name relevant. They're doing you a service by making sure that Microsoft's name is always relevant anytime a topic like this comes up. And even when I talk to my PlayStation friends, the number one thing they always say is Microsoft doesn't have any games that's going to support the new system where the launch is. So why are people going to spend $500 on a new system that has no games? And I always say, wait a minute, aren't you the guys the same people that always say third party games are what basically sell for the holidays? So why do they need to have a first party IP that's going to actually help push in sales? Is that something that they should have? Yes, because more games is better than no games at all. But you also have all those third party games that are going to supplement most of the gaming period for people during the holidays of the rest of this year. So Microsoft really doesn't have to have a game. And I always disagree with some of their thought processes on when they actually release certain games. Do I believe Crackdown should come out November 7th, the same day as the system? Part of me believes yes, because they're launching it as basically the flagship game for the Xbox One X. But even a part of me believes if they burn that game out earlier, like September or even October, it would do a lot better than it would do in just November in general. Cause there's so many games that are gonna be slated around it. It comes out flat dead in the middle of Call of Duty and Star Wars Battlefront 2. So there's only so much money to go around. I do believe that it's still gonna sell, but it probably could sell better if they release it a little bit earlier. So the system actually does have the games to support the Xbox One X because they got cracked down and they have all the third party games that's coming out this year. So that shouldn't be a problem. But when Xbox fans fight back to that one comment about not having games and why would you want to spend that much money on a system for no games, they always say, well, the reason people aren't buying the Xbox platform right now is because they're waiting for the Xbox One X. And the first thing that a PlayStation fan says is, Phil Spencer said Xbox One X is not gonna be the number one selling system. Right now, the Xbox platform is having problems beating the PlayStation platform in sales, period. So do you expect that to change just because they're coming out with an Xbox One X later this year? And I'm gonna answer that question right now for you. I do believe that's gonna happen. And a lot of people shoot back and say, from last year, especially when Xbox was leading in MPD from June to November. And the first time they lost in a five month period was in that November, and it was because the PlayStation 4 Pro came out. And what did fans for PlayStation say between the months of June, July, August, September, and October? All which are months that the Xbox One won MPD in 2016. And every PlayStation fan said, oh, they're not selling systems because everybody's waiting for the PlayStation 4 Pro. So what's the difference between what the PlayStation 4 Pro did and what the Xbox One X may do? You literally have the same situation that's happening now that happened last year, but this time roles are reversed and PlayStation already has the systems out and Xbox has a new one that's coming out. So that's why I believe it's going to win MPD for November of 2017, because right now a lot of people are waiting for the Xbox One X. And then you got to take into account that Xbox Ones are going to be drastically on sale they'll probably give four or five games away with an xbox one during the holidays they might throw three games of extra controller all in a box for 249 shoot they might get ambitious and do it for 199 you never know they're going to probably be free xbox live memberships they're also going to probably bundle game pass in with a bunch of their systems they're going to probably give you a year of that or something xbox one x's are going to be out so if anybody doesn't think that xbox one x's aren't going to sell out during the month of november you're crazy new hardware always sells out when it first comes out. It really depends on how much Microsoft actually has to sell. If they have 850,000 units for America or even a million, because everybody knows things usually sell in hundreds of thousands during a regular year, but then it goes up into the millions during the month of November, just because Black Friday is the biggest shopping day of the year in America. And then you also have Cyber Monday that has a lot of good sales too. So those systems are gonna sell regardless. Xbox One X's in November are gonna be gone you're not gonna be able to probably find one. And that's the same thing that I always said about the PlayStation Pro last year. PlayStation 4 Pros, you could not find one for the month of November. Once it came out and released, you didn't find them during that month. They didn't really get those things back in stock until like mid January, like consistently. But during the holidays, they were completely gone. And that's what helped Sony win MPD for the month of November and enough for December of 2016. And I'm not saying that Microsoft's gonna win December 2017, 
2017, but it's almost a foregone conclusion that they're gonna win November of 2017. Now I'm ready to eat some crow if that doesn't happen and that's very possible, anything can happen because a lot of people really believe that Nintendo is the one in, in the driving seat when it comes to this prediction and I honestly believe that too. If Nintendo has the stock, like I said earlier, they will win NPD. I just, in my opinion, believe that Sony is either gonna come in second or they're gonna come in third and it's always gonna be behind Microsoft because Microsoft has the hardware that's gonna benefit them more during that time of the month. So guys, what do you think? Do you think Microsoft and the family of systems is gonna eke out E3 sales for 2017 in November? Let's talk about that in the comment section. Also, what do you think is the biggest threat? Do you think the Sony platform is gonna be the biggest threat or do you think Nintendo overall is gonna be the biggest threat to actually push for that number one spot? Let's talk about that in the comment section too. I really appreciate you watching this video. You guys mean a lot to me. Make sure you keep liking these videos if you like the content. Sub to the channel if you haven't. There's a lot of good gaming news and stuff on here. We're gonna be talking about a lot of newer games coming out in the future. Some reviews for some of the hotter games that's coming out. So definitely stay tuned for that because this is just the beginning and I really appreciate all the love that I'm getting on these videos that I actually put out. But you have a great week and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.